Well, for more than 500 performances, Derek Del Gaudio wowed sold out audiences night after night in his hit show, part illusions, part memoir, part performance theater. I'm going to let him describe it. Well, uh, Derek Del Gaudio's In and of Itself is coming to Hulu now for the world to see, uh, to be amazed, and to ask themselves who they truly are. Take a look. Two things are about to happen. One of these things you will see, and the other thing we will see. We get to see you Hi. transform into something else. We are all the unreliable narrators of each other's stories. But I'm not just defined by what you see. I'm also defined by all the things you will never see. And Derek is with me now. You know, I hesitated to read that introduction, Derek, because one of the things that I have experienced by reading about this, seeing interviews with you, with Frank Oz, who directed this, is that, you know, Frank said, you know, he doesn't like to describe it. He likes for people to kind of, kind of, you know, see it for themselves. So how would you say to people who have not seen this, who have heard about it maybe a little bit, but they're interested in seeing it on Hulu. How do you describe it? What do you say? I mean, the most honest answer is it's, it's a theatrical existential crisis. It's an exploration of, of what it means to be and be seen in this world and ultimately how we see one another. And uh, these labels that we need to describe one another and yet how these labels that we rely on uh, conceal who we really are from one another. It, it should be undefinable and uh, you shouldn't be able to describe it. So uh, it makes marketing it very difficult, but it, 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 as far as being able to talk about it, but it, yeah. it worked as, as, as a piece. I saw an interview that you did with Stephen Colbert, who loves the show. And I think he's one of the producers on, on this. A, he, yeah, he and his, uh, he, his he wife, and right? wife, Evelyn, are the executive producers. We were off on a pirate ship doing this ourselves. And then when we got to a point where we're like, I think there's actually a film here. We started shopping it around, essentially. And everyone was like, I have, we didn't show them the footage, but they had seen the show. And they're like, I, I don't know how you could turn this into a film. They couldn't see how this could work. Yeah. Um, except Stephen and, and, and Evelyn. They were the ones who, who stepped up to the plate when no one else would and said, this is yeah. worth making. How concerned were you about, okay, so Stephen Colbert and so many others had, you know, this profound experience from seeing it in theaters. How concerned were you about that translating for people watching at home on, uh, you know, on Hulu? Uh, very, uh, 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 very, because yeah. um, the work was so important to, to, to me and to Frank. Um, Frank didn't even want to film it to begin with. Mm. He, he was, he was uh, opposed to it. But this was, this was different. I felt like the ideas in it were, were, were important enough to preserve. There was something in the room that was happening that was, that was beyond kind of any of our control or understanding in a way. I performed it over 760 times total on both coasts. Wow. So, but two weeks before we were closing for good, forever, Frank was still coming in and we were still changing things, tweaking, trying to, yeah. to get as much out of it as we could. Uh, but he used to go up to people after the show, if they were crying and he would ask them, he goes, I noticed you're crying. Do you know why? And they would say no. And he'd say, perfect. And then just walk away. <laughs> um, I, I, because of my perspective of being on stage, looking out at them, I saw their reactions and I saw in people's eyes and faces, mm. there's something happening here. Yeah. There's something that's that's perhaps worth capturing. And I feel like the film conveys that as well as any performance I ever gave. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wanna let everybody know that you can stream Derek Del Gaudio's In and of Itself on Hulu, January 22nd. Thank you so much, Derek. Thank you, I really appreciate it.